Hi everyone, Suzanne here, back today on Thursday afternoon. Um, yes, I think actually it's the 24th of October, I think that's right. I have a granddaughter who turns 14 next Monday and actually um, we went out shopping for her yesterday, my daughter and myself, and I bought her lots of lovely things to give to her on her birthday. Anyway, let me say hello first before I start launching into some silly story. So, hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. And hello to everybody who's dropped in and who's new here. I, um, I really appreciate your visits and comments. It's lovely. Um, I had a comment on my last video from someone who's actually in Sydney, so I'm very excited about that. Because I don't really get comments from people here. Well, it's kind of, I'm just thinking, do I or don't I? No, I don't think I ever have. So it's very exciting. We'll see. See, I said she could email me if she wanted to. Let's see if she does. That'll be so lovely. Because I don't know if she would like to come to a dog club meeting, but she might, depending on where in Sydney she lives. I mean, Sydney's a giant place. Um, so yeah, anyway, that was fun. So welcome everyone and welcome to my new subscribers. And today we are back on for a strictly woodland themed day. I've got my little girl Bridie. This is Bridie. She's the Laura Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. I've got her dressed in a really gorgeous outfit by a brand called, now please don't laugh, I don't know how to say it, but it's Paloma Della O. And uh, yeah, so I'm sorry. I know that's not how it's pronounced, but that's what the words are. Anyway, so that this is a three piece outfit by that brand. Let me show you the bloomers first because they're partly covered. There are the little bloomers. They kind of have a, I don't know what colour to describe that. I don't know if it's a light green. It might be very light, a pale green background. And it's a, a pinwheel cord, so that very fine cord. And there's little squirrels, grey squirrels, all over it in green leaves. The squirrels are in lots of different positions. There's a running one there. Can you see that one? Let me see if you can see that one. I think he's running. That's in the way. There we go. Maybe you can see them there. So very, very cute bloomers. And then there's this um, blouse, I guess, or shirt. I'm not sure what you would call it. Whatever. This top that buttons all the way down the back. And it's in a, like a heavyweight cotton in a whitish creamy colour. Never sure if it's white or cream. I guess it's slightly off-white maybe. And it's got a Peter Pan, Peter Pan collar. And on each of the little collars is a, a grey squirrel that's been embroidered so so cute look at that and then this little cardi is the third piece in the set it's just a little button front cardigan in garter stitch in a it's a grey brown kind of colour it's a combination with grey and brown that's how I would describe it like the squirrels colour so that is what she's wearing and I added this brown bow in her hair for fun and then of course I did think about a little animal to come and be on screen with her and I remembered I've got this little guy he's very um, worn out I've had him for a long time he's not worn out by me this is how I got him and he's either he's got one of these tails so he's either a beaver or an otter but we don't have either of those animals here in Australia so I'm not really sure and his mouth is very wide open and he seems to have one tooth <laughs> I think that's a tooth or oh, is that a piece of could be oh it actually is probably a part of the label that was on him when he was first made and this ear is a bit torn and that's where his um he would have had a, a little button a little um silver colored button saying steif so yeah both of his both of both of his in the, oh my goodness me what is wrong with me both of his identification um, um labels have been removed so that isn't a toothy peg that is just a piece i can feel it's felt and it's not a tooth <laughs> anyway there he is whatever he, whatever sort of animal he is i'm sure he's in a woodland somewhere some part of the world he's in a woodland not in Australia. We do have platypuses or platypi. There's always an argument about the plural of platypus. 
anyway that we have platypus here and they have tails like this this kind of tail um, but we don't have otters or beavers whatever he is you guys will know certainly what he is and you see he's a bit kind of he's meant to be a bit spiky like that but he's very worn out looking poor thing I actually got him with another with a doll he had apparently always been with the doll so he came with the doll as well He's very cute and I do love him, even though he's, you know, tired. But that's okay. We all get tired sometimes, don't we? So, yeah, that's who my little bridie has with her. So I thought this was a perfect outfit for a woodland theme. I actually had it um, ready to go when the theme was... What was the theme? Was it forest animals? Or something and I had it ready for that and didn't get to use it because I always run out of time so I thought oh this is perfect for woodland a woodland theme yeah I mean even the colors are sort of woodland aren't they so yes that's my little girl dressed up today to say hello to you all she tends to sleep through these videos which I guess is better than having her screaming through videos isn't it or fussing a bit or you know we we do like it when you're quiet my darling girl we really do we appreciate it so much such a patient doll this one i should say such a patient baby shouldn't i she's a sweetheart so in case you were wondering i have got my blood test results back my gp contacted me the same night that i had the blood test i had the blood test on tuesday and the gp got in touch with me probably at about I think it was seven o'clock to say that the results were excellent he was very pleased with them so that means i am fine i'm just worn out from the surgery still which blows my mind a bit i just can't believe that i'm not over it yet but i have to accept that and just go with it so yeah that's the good news about the blood test so not only was it done by a lovely gentleman who comes and does it i always look forward to seeing him because he's just a nice person and um so not only was that a good experience, which it always is, but also the results were good. So I'm very, I feel quite proud of myself. <laughs> not that I've done anything in particular to make the results good. It's just reassuring, isn't it, to know. So yeah. Um, so yesterday was the day I went, oh, I know what I can tell you about. <laughs> I woke up at about five o'clock yesterday morning and wanted to look at the time on my you know clock radio by the bed it's a digital thing so it plugs in and um to see if i could still go back to sleep because i needed to get up well i was going to get up at seven to be ready to go out shopping with my daughter to buy those birthday presents i mentioned earlier for my granddaughter um anyway there was no there was no i couldn't see any numbers on the on my clock and then i thought oh no what's happened has it broken? Let me try and turn on my bedside light, which I did. Of course, there was no light. It didn't come on. Then I thought, okay, of course something's gone wrong. What could it be? Do I need an electrician? I wonder if the overhead light is working. So I got up and um, um, went through a tricky process in the dark to get my... So I have to wear a splint on my left leg and to try and get that on in the dark inside my shoe is a challenge i had my phone down near my foot sort of resting on my foot so i could see a bit what i was doing got that on finally and went to the um, light switch in the corner of my room and sure enough no light so i thought okay for some reason the electricity is out which is i don't think it's ever happened to me in this house and i've been in this house now for what 38 years or something electricity has never gone out not even in a storm whereas when i used to live in wa in perth every time there was a storm we lost power it was normal but there had been no storm it was a calm night and everything so i ended up contacting the company who owns the um what do you call that stuff the poles and wires they always say owns the equipment that runs the electricity and i I checked to see if there was an outage in our area, and there really was. There were tons of patches that were filled in, meaning there was an um, outage there. So I just um, 
They wanted to know my address and I lodged that and I got a, no, a number. I don't know what that was for. I have a number. But then within about oh, probably 20 minutes, the power came back on um, because I heard a beep when the microwave came back on and the stove came back on because there's a clock on both of those things. So, <laughs> so it was fine, except of course then I decided I may as well just stay up. There's no point going back to bed because I wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been able to fall asleep. So finally I hadn't woken up at five and looked, tried to look at the time, I wouldn't have known the difference. Because really, I don't know how long it had been off for. Could have been hours and hours and I wouldn't have known. But <laughs> anyway, so that's how my day started. Ah, and, but then, of course, going collecting my daughter and we had coffee and then did great, great shopping, went to lots of different shops. And, and hopefully I have done well and hopefully she will like everything I got. But if she doesn't, she can always return it. I won't be offended. Won't be offended at all. She, at the moment she's loving, she likes clothes and makeup. They're her things. Um, so we sort of, we think we've picked what she would love. But, you know, she's a teenager. She may not. Um, she's very sweet. So she would probably say, oh, yes, they're so lovely, Nana. I love them. But I'm going to reassure her that she absolutely does not have to keep them if she doesn't want to. So, yeah, that was yesterday. It was really fun. Fun to have electricity. Oh, my goodness. Don't, I don't take it for granted. <laughs> I turn on a light switch and the light comes on. Wow. So I have no idea why the power was out. I don't know if they were working somewhere and by mistake they turned it off. But at least it wasn't off for long. Yeah. So that's that was my yesterday. Um, so today I'll be wrapping birthday presents and... I've got had some work to do for the doll club because we're having a com committee meeting on Saturday. So I've done that too. And now we are together at this video. And I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this outfit. I absolutely love it. I, this is quite long, this top. See what you think. See, if, you, if I pull it down, I see how long it is. So I started off tucking it into the bloomers and I didn't like that look. So then I thought, well, I'll just scrunch it up a bit, make it look a bit shorter like so. I think that's not so bad then. That's acceptable like that, isn't it? I pulled it down a bit too far. There we go. I think that should do. So yeah, strange. I don't know how a, how you would dress a real baby in it. I suppose you would just, I don't know, would you tuck it in? People don't tuck things in these days, do they? I can remember growing up, we used to tuck everything in and then I don't know how long ago, 20 or 30 years, it all changed. Every Everybody wore everything untucked. And I used to think, oh, that is so messy. Why don't they tuck their stuff, their T-shirts in or whatever? And it, it's never changed till now. Although now they have strange fashions, like you put half half of your button-up shirt tucked in and the other half out, or I don't know, there's all, all sorts of strange ways of doing things now. But, yeah, so I'm not really sure how a baby would like this outfit to be worn. She's happy, aren't you, darling? Bridie's happy with it like this, so... I'll leave her like this. She looks comfy and cosy and her feet are still uncovered um, just because they're cute and why would I cover them up? Although I tend to cover up Lottie's feet. So I don't know why I don't cover up Bridie's feet. She's got cute legs, hasn't she? Mm, very cute. All right, my dear friends, um, I will stop because I'm just going on about nothing now. So I hope you like seeing this little guy. It's a beaver, we think, do we? Or otter? Maybe beaver. I think he's more like a beaver. Yeah, not that I really know. But anyway, he's he's been with us too. And I think he would be in a woodland, wouldn't he? He would be in the waterways of the woodland. Yeah. So, all right, my dear friends, I really will stop talking now. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all your lovely comments. And just thank you for being out there. It's really fun for me to know that you're there. Really, really fun. And Bridie and I will say goodbye, won't we, darling? Hey, I'm glad you slept, my sweet darling. Sweet, sweet little sausage, aren't you? Such a good girl. All right, everybody. Take care of yourselves and we'll be together soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>